Cancer. Welcome to your mid-month reading for the month of July of 2021. But of course, this is just a mid-month reading. It's a mid-month check-in. Yes, it's coming through in the month of July, but this is really a timeless reading, yeah? So whenever you guys are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. But welcome. Hi guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you're returning, what is up my people? Yes. All right, we're just gonna jump into this cancer um, and get into this mid-month message for you or for whenever, whatever time period, whenever this hits you, whenever it resonates, yeah? I have some really beautiful energies in front of me for you, Cancer, uh, in terms of this message. Uh, there is definitely something that is ending. However, as I'm speaking through this, Cancer, I feel like it's actually done. You do have the Ten of Swords here. So depending on where you are in your timeline or in, in your experience or in your life, something either has come to a full and complete close, or for some of you, it may still kind of be in the process of closing out. But the strongest thing that I'm getting for you, Cancer, regardless as to wherever you find yourself in your physical process, whatever is closed or is closing out, still may still be in the process of closing out, it's sufficiently closed out for you to be moving forward and moving forward in a very passionate way, very strong way. You're showing up in your pre-shuffle here, Cancer, because with this Ten of Swords, you have the Chariot, which is representative of your energy, okay, cardinal energy, driving forward, driving forward in a very passionate way. And you have that with the Magician, okay, these three cards came out on the table as your pre-shuffle, overall energy under the deck, you have the sun, damn. The sun to the king of wands, to the seven of pentacles, to the queen of swords. Okay, this is a really excellent energy for you, Cancer. Now, I was already feeling like you were moving forward pretty confidently anyway, pretty strong-willed and strong-minded, or at least in a very solid, stable place. It just feels like whatever it is, you, whatever it is you're moving forward with, or however it is you're moving forward, Cancer. I just really feel like you're you're in it. You're in it to win it. You're committed. You're in it to win it. Excuse me. You're committed. Um, you have the clarity that you need, and I was getting all of that already just from uh, the dynamic of the energy between the chariot with this ten of swords and then the magician. Already, this is telling me that there's a shit ton of passion behind you right now, Cancer. Either this is passion to just get the F up out of where you used to be, or this is passion to get yourself going in this next direction. Um, there's also a level of passion that's coming through with the Magician here. I mean, the Chariot is a pretty passionate energy anyway, okay? When it comes to the Chariot, this is an, inst uh, 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 an instance where you have your emotions in line, in check, they're balanced, they're harmonized, they're integrated, and that is what you are using to move yourself forward. So when it comes to the chariot, this is a pretty passionate, pretty pretty strong, fast-moving energy anyway. But then you add the fuel of something being completed here, some tough situation having come to or just about ready to be finished and done, okay? And then you have more passion with the magician, taking ownership. Okay, being in master manifester mode, right? And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the sun, which is talking about clarity. But then underneath the sun, the reason, well, underneath the sun, you have the king of wands, which is even more clarity, okay? Even more passion, feeling very confident in yourself. That's where I was picking up on this chariot energy too. But then going a little further underneath that, you have the seven of pentacles to the queen of swords. Whatever it is that you were dealing with in the past here, Cancer, it's completely done because you have put a stop to it. Or at least you have come to a sufficient understanding with this Seven of Pentacles of what the situation is or was, what it ultimately has meant to you, what meaning it can, you can get from it. You got that already. And now you're cutting yourself free and moving forward with the Queen of Swords with a very clear understanding of either how you want to move forward or what it is you want to move away from, okay? Excellent energy, Cancer. I really like this for you. We are going to go ahead and give this another, another a, a cleansing shuffle here. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs for this, guys, to maybe see if there is, um, uh, uh, to, to get a fuller picture of what could be going on for you in this time period. Also, uh, if you're looking for love messages specifically, I would check the reading for your Venus sign or maybe the Venus sign of your partner. 
Damn, Cancer. Look at this. We have two more cards that have just come out here again in your pre-shuffle. You have the King of Wands again. But the reason why you're in this confident energy, this steadfast energy I'm hearing, Cancer, is because of your sense of self-awareness, the Hermit. Okay, and then I'm, my, my mind is being brought back to that Seven of Pentacles energy. Um, the Seven of Pentacles can often represent uh, a situation that is uh, that can be described as Einstein's definition of insanity in terms of doing something the same way over and over and over again, expecting a different result. The way to break yourself out of that type of circumstance is to understand what's happening for you. Understand also what it is your desired outcome or result is, is, and then taking steps to get yourself there by making changes to what you have in front of you now. Because obviously something wasn't working. But here, Cancer, I really feel like you've done that sufficiently. And a lot of that information that helps you to move forward and ultimately succeed has come from a sense of self-awareness. So there could have been some situations, Cancer, in which you were in really self, uh, self-sabotaging situations. The situations, Ten of Swords, the situations were pretty awful to begin with, right? But the element that made it even worse or even tougher to deal with, I do feel like came from the self. Self-sabotaging uh, circumstances, whether that be a lack of self-belief, a lack of self-trust, uh, just a complete lack of self-awareness, uh, anything. But what I feel has changed the game for you, Cancer, and has gotten you into that chariot mode, that 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 uh, uh, magician mode, is the element of self-awareness that you have come to that is now providing you with a way to change the way you approach something or change something altogether. Beautiful. All right, Cancer. Let's close this out, this pre-shuffle session. And uh, let's get into the rest of your reading. Yeah, so I'm going to give this five shuffles. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, if you haven't done so already. And also leave your comments in the comment section down below. I love hearing from you guys. Yeah, here we go. One. For my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is two mid-month message. Oops. Try that again. Mid-month messages, please, spirit, for my Cancerian sun, moon, rising, and possibly Venus. There we go. That was two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Cancer. I'm going to cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Cancer, we're starting you off with the... <coughs> Excuse me. We're starting you off with the minor arcana version of the chariot, the eight of wands. Your pathway is clear, Cancer. And you've done, again, it's that hermit energy that I'm picking up on that has really helped you clear the way. Okay, because you've done a lot of internal work recently, um, whenever, you've done a lot of work to help clear your own obstacles out, out of the way, to help clear obstacles out of your own way. And you are the one that has done that because to a certain level, I think you find you've really gotten a grasp on the fact that you are the only one that can create or, or, or has control over your life. And with that comes a level of self-respect and responsibility that says, well, if I'm in control, if I'm a master manifester of my life, then there mean, then there, that, that means that there's got to be some ways that I'm standing in my own way. And that's what I feel like you've come to understand, Cancer. And that's why your pathway is clear now, because you've done the work to clear the obstacles, okay? Underneath the Eight of Wands is the Three of Swords. Underneath the Three of Swords is the Knight of Cups. And underneath the Knight of Cups is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So um, you're much more open hearted, much more clear uh, in your focus. You have been able to heal from a lot of this three of swords energy, this three of swords energy. This could be a romantic situation for some of you. This is a breakup um, for it, it, it's anything that's heartbreaking. But this is what the ten of swords was talking about here. OK, and it's it started as some 
I kind of want, honestly, Cancer, what I want to say is it started as a minor heartbreak, but then it just kind of compiled on itself over and over and over again until it reached a catastrophic state to where then you had to take control and pull yourself out of that and ultimately get yourself to the 10, which is where you were in your pre-shuffle, okay? But because of this, you've cleared, your, you've cleared your pathway of this heartbreak, eight of wands, three of swords, and now you're moving forward with your heart on your sleeve, the knight of cups, or at least you're moving forward from a heart-centered place. I am so sorry, I have to pause for a second and turn on a fan because I'm sweating bullets. Whew, that is so much better. I mean, now there's a fan droning in the background, but like, whatever. It like, it's so freaking hot. Okay, but then, I'll, but also it's so hot because I'm like picking up on this energy. It's, it's really good energy, you guys. I'm really liking this for you. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're moving forward uh, from a heart-centered or a heart-focused place. So a lot of the healing that you could have done has to do with your heart chakra and your heart center, which is beautiful. Okay, let's continue. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in this situation is the Knight of Wands. There you go. Passionate, okay? Feeling activated, feeling alive, feeling like you're thriving, feeling like you have a sense of direction, feeling like you have a fire lit under you, like you're, you're willing to put forth the effort, you're willing to go the distance, you're willing to go the mile, but that's because... Whatever it is you're moving forward with is in alignment with you, you, is in alignment with your heart. It's coming from your heart center. And that's what's providing you with an extra boost of passion here. This is beautiful, Cancer. Knight of Wands is coupled with, oh, the Five of Cups. But you see, this is you having overcome the Five of Cups, okay? So this is definitely talking about the energy of you coming out of a sense of sorrow or a state of turmoil and turning that around and activating yourself into action, getting yourself motivated. And for some of you, it's this previous pain or this previous heartbreak that you were dealing with, Five of Cups, that you're using as fuel is what I'm feeling. I'm also hearing fertilizer. The pain from the past is in fact your fertilizer and it seems <laughs> it's built up a bunch of methane gas and now you can burn that as fuel to move yourself forward. I love that. I love that, Cancer. Second set of surrounding energies for you is the Nine of Cups. Look at that. Satisfaction, happiness, contentment. I feel like this Nine of Cups is not talking about like wish fulfillment in this situation. The Nine of Cups is talking about you just being happy, feeling content, feeling safe and secure within yourself and within your body. That is a beautiful place to be. And that's what's helping you to move forward with ease and grace because of this sense of happiness and contentment that you have developed, built for yourself, I'm hearing. I love this, Cancer. The Nine of Cups is coupled with the Tower. Holy shit. But you know what is so funny about this, Cancer? For some of you, you struggled against this Tower moment for the longest time. For some of you, whatever that seems to have changed recently or whatever it seems to have ended or have come down, you resisted against that. I am feeling that. You resisted... And in some cases, you resisted really hard. And for some of you, the universe had to come in and literally strike it down for you. And yes, there was a painful period for a while. But then once the dust settled and the clouds cleared, the clouds parted and you could see the sun again, you realized, holy shit, whatever was just destroyed, it really was for my highest good. Because now I feel so much better. I feel so much lighter. I feel so much more free. I'm just happy. You see? You see? You see how the universe works? I love this, Cancer. For some of you, you actually pulled that tower down yourself. But regardless, the message here is that your level of contentment, your level of happiness right now, Nine of Cups, has everything to do with some massive element of your life, whether that be a relationship, a circumstance, uh, whatever. It's, it's gone now. It's come down. It's been destroyed. It's been released. And that's why you can just feel so happy and content. Beautiful. Your challenge here, Cancer, is the Three of Wands. Moving forward on your path. Uh, for some of you, this is a good thing. And the challenge here is that because you have brought down this tower, because the pathway is clear, you now get to identify 
how it is you really truly want to be moving forward. For some of you, you're seeing your path clear and open in this way from this perspective for the first time in your life. And so the challenge here is a little bit of a learning curve. Oh, the chickens are outside getting all riled up. Um, the challenge here is a bit of a learning curve in understanding how you want to proceed, how you want to move forward, what it is you want to keep investing your time and energy into, what it is you ultimately want to create in, on, on the path further down the road. You don't have to have all of that defined just yet. Just keep taking it step by step. But your challenge right now, Cancer, is moving forward on your path clearly, focused, and honest, okay? But it doesn't feel bad. It's a good challenge to have because ultimately you have the clarity to see what's ahead of you to prepare for what it is you want to receive. Yes? To prepare, three of wands, to prepare for what it is that you ultimately want to receive. That is beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three of wands is coupled with the six of swords, Cancer. This is beautiful. I mean, it's not that much of a challenge, but ultimately the challenge here is literally what I just said. You're moving away from something rough in the past, right? Six of swords. And you're moving towards calmer waters. You're moving towards something better in the future. Your challenge here is as you're moving away from the past, from whatever that Ten of Swords energy was, your challenge is to stay focused on the future and continue to understand or continue to cultivate an understanding of what it is you want to continue to, to, to manifest, to move towards, to work towards, or what it is you want to continue putting your time, energy, and effort into. Again, preparing for what it is you want to receive in the future as you move away from tough elements from the past. Again, a, a good challenge to have. Very good challenge to have, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Cancer, is the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Shit, that's awesome. I feel like you guys have a much clearer focus on what it is you want to achieve in the future. And that has everything to do with what has closed out, what cycle has closed out in the past for you. <clears throat> so I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles as two, two sides of one coin. One side of the coin being the lessons, the completion of the lesson that you have learned from the past, right? The 10 would represent that completion. The other side of that coin is what it is you want to work towards, what it is you want to move towards in the future. What is, what is your long, I'm hearing longevity, okay? Uh, your future focus, okay? Um, what is the word that I'm looking for though? Your legacy, right? That's what the 10 of pentacles represents, your legacy your family, your ultimate uh, financial goals, your ultimate financial situation, your ultimate family life, your ultimate material life, your ultimate career, that kind of energy, right? But all of that takes time and effort. It doesn't happen overnight. Which, okay, that's great. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Cups. Beautiful. Celebration. Definitely getting celebration from the Three of cups definitely getting celebration from the three of cups and this feels like celebration of overcoming the past and moving forward towards the future keep in mind guys that at the bottom of the deck in your overall energy you who do have the ten of cups look at that this is a beautiful beautiful energy for you cancer i really love this for you so i hope this resonated for you i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for tuning in <clears throat> I hope this resonated. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>